So today's technology is called perpendicular magnetic recording and we've scaled that to incredible aerial densities already getting capacities of 20 plus terabytes. But to scale it further, we need to further shrink the grain size. And in order to do that, we need to make the magnetics that are in that grain even stronger. We have to make them so strong that we can't write them with a conventional magnetic writer. We've had to use heat from a plasmonic writer to heat up the media to the point where we can flip the bits and record the information. Underneath the covers, the, the technology is completely and radically different. We had to invent and integrate a whole laser system that delivers light from an external source and puts it right on the disc. So the writer now is no longer just a writer. It's a fully integrated device that has a light source, has a light delivery system, and a transducer that converts that light into heat energy and delivers it to the disc. So the current technology, perpendicular magnetic recording, is running into this fundamental limit of super paramagnetic limit. That limits how much data you can store in the drive on a disk. So the new technology addresses that head on. As we start out with this laser, this laser that is similar to the laser in a laser pointer. We align it to an optical waveguide. We have a special design input coupler that can take this light from the laser. We use integrated optics to form it into the shape that we need. It focuses them down to a very small optical spot of a few tens of nanometers. A nanometer is about 100,000 thousandth the diameter of a hair, or just maybe four atoms across. It's a very small dimension of a common dimension that's used in nanotechnology. And we have to put this spot within a couple nanometers of the media in the area that we call a near field. In that near field, the rules of diffraction don't apply. It's just before the light has a, has a chance to diffract. The anisotropy in the media is reduced when we heat it, and then the magnetic field is large enough to flip the bit in the media and write to the medium. It's a part of the technology, the part of the mosaic that allows us to write more data per bit on the disk. And that's the benefit that this mosaic three plus technology brings us over the current incumbent technology of perpendicular magnetic recording. Everything had to be redone. Everything had to be changed. We have fundamentally changed how that laser is integrated into the drive, how we record bits onto the disk, and a whole new paradigm of technology had to be bought into with the system. I can't think of another product that contains this much new innovation.